Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to pair the Ninja 5 or the Ninja V with the Canon R6. Welcome to my channel guys, I'm Biography and I do reviews, tip and tricks, tutorials and chip chat about creative stuff, if you like talking about creative stuff. So let's get straight into it. So. The first thing first, even before turning on the Ninja 5, you need to have a proper cable. And what I mean with a proper cable? Well, if you have a camera that shoots um, 4K 60, you, you need to have a proper cable that can reach that high frame rate. Um, I have had some uh, people contacting me through Instagram and to my email asking me about um, why their Ninja are not working with their cameras. Well, there can be a lot of issues, but most commonly the issues that we often do, I say we because I did it too at the beginning, uh, we don't have the proper cables. So one of the cables can be this little, little one. I, I believe it's 30 centimeter um, from small rig. This one is a full size to full size because it's the one that I use for my Blackmagic 6K Pro. But here for our Canon R6 and the Canon R5s, I have this uh, extendable coil here. And this one is from Atomos. Um, here it, in Europe, it costs 39 euros, um, but you can find on Amazon for a little bit cheaper price. But you have to make sure um, by reading in the comments. Um, and sometimes you even need to contact the people who are commenting that have already experience with it. If they are actually working, the ones on Amazon, if you don't buy it from a store, by you buying from Amazon, pay attention and always ask before buying it to the people who have already experienced with it. Because sometimes the people who are making on Amazon, because Amazon don't review the stuff, like they don't ask you, hey, can you send it so I can review it? No, they just take it from them and put it on their platform to sell it. So sometimes they write it that it actually reached the 4K60, but no, most of the time when they come, they don't. So, or you order from Small Rig or Audacity or Cardon Blue or whoever famous, semi-famous companies that produce them. They are trustable, they are worthy. But if they are kind of a company that you don't really know about, it's better that you always contact the people who are um, writing on the comments um, what are their experience with it or just read through the comments and most of the time just go with the one the ones that have put one star and see what they say but yeah so the mainly the first thing is make sure that your cord reach the high frame rates that your camera uh, can record and of course um, the Ninja 5 records until 4K 60. Then we have the Ninja 5 Plus that records until 4K 120. So in that case, you will still need to make sure that the cords um, can record those high frame rates. Here I have a little bit longer one. Uh, I will put few links in the description. Uh, so if you want, you can go and buy them from there. They are affiliate links, so they will give me some percentage. But if you're not in Europe, of course, that will not count on you because it doesn't make sense for you to buy it from my, uh, my affiliate links. Um, but I don't care if you buy it or not from my affiliate links. The main thing that you can get what you need for your work. But so, um, to be able to record in the camera, you need to have a clean feed. And how do you have a clean feed? To have a clean feed, you need to go on the menu. Then from the menu, you go on the first, the picture where you see the camera. And then you go on the eight page. So on the eight page, you will see HDMI display. 
So from the HDMI display, you click on it, you have two ones here. So you have where you can see only uh, on uh, um, on the screen on, on the Ninja 5, so on your external monitor, or you have external monitor plus camera monitor. So when you click that, it makes you have a clean feed from the camera to the external monitor. And in that case, you are free basically to record inside the, the Ninja 5 uh, with a clean feed where you don't have any problem and you can record in, uh, you can record inside the Ninja 5 without having the, um, the infos from, from the screen showing because it is a is a clean is a clean feed <laughs> see the difference here exactly that's what i'm trying to explain <laughs> but let's go into the into the ninja 5 so after you connect everything and uh, it's working properly now i don't have it connected so it will not pop out i will not see what i'm seeing but you will see just the screen you have to make sure that your uh, ninja 5 it's set with the same kind of settings about the log um on your camera so what i mean is you go on the input here you can see here you have camera output you see so the camera will be outputting log C, log C3, or Sony, or whatever camera you have, will be outputting something. So when you turn on this camera output, it's really important to do it if you are using a log format. So what you do is, as you see here, there is Panasonic, but if you click on it, there could be Adi. If you click on it, ACVC. Who does use a CVC still in 2021? Well, well, okay. Um, there is red. Okay. So as you see, Canon C log. So if you're using C log, you just leave it on C log. But if you're using C log two, you can put it on C log two, or you have C log three, and then you go back to C log. So in our case, if you are using C log or C log three, because we are using the Canon R6 and the Canon R5 have only C log and C log three. So when we are using these formats, we leave it there. And then here you can turn, you can leave it to BT 2020. And we have DCI, DCI, and then Rec 709. So if you would like me to explain what is the difference between BT 2020 and Rec 709. Drop a comment and I will make sure in a future video to explain it. So here we have then our output on the camera perfectly set with the output of our Ninja 5. So this is an important step to do. Um, it's not a mistake if you don't do it, but it's important that your screen, your monitor, because you're recording inside there so you can um, your monitor will have the same signal that you are outputting outside from your camera straight into the monitor but if you don't do it it's not a huge problem because it will be still recording so it's not a big deal but it is it's important to do it so that at least you have everything match and there is no anything there is no issue in the video recording so thank you guys for sticking here with me um, if you liked it like <laughs> comment and subscribe for more and uh, thank you very much for the support that you guys have uh, are giving me um, if you need any help just write me on instagram through my email um, down here and I will, resp I will answer as soon as I can. So guys, stay safe and uh, have a blessed day.
day.